I'm mowing the lawn. What? I'm mowing the lawn. I'm mowing the lawn. I'm mowing the lawn. I'm mowing the lawn. Well, this is the Mamotion Luba all-wheel drive 3000 model robotic lawnmower. And I'm very excited to give you my complete and full comprehensive honest review on this. It's been about a month or so now and I have some thoughts and some of them may surprise you. Here we go. Right, so this is the 3000 model of the Luba series from Emotion. There are three different models to choose from when you go to purchase these things. There's a 1000, a 3000, and a 5000. Now, you're probably wondering, Jimmy, what's the difference? Well, let me tell you. So there's two main differences between the three models. Number one is how big of an area it can mow, and number two is what kind of a slope angle it can tolerate. So with that being said, let me just break down very quickly the difference between the three different models here. The 1000 model covers up to a quarter acre and it can handle a slope of 33 degrees. So if that fits your parameters and your needs, that's gonna be the best model for you. Now the 3000 model, which is what you see here behind me, can handle up to three quarters of an acre and still keep that same 33 degree slope tolerance. The 5000 model, which is the the highest tiered model that they offer can handle one and a quarter acres and a 37 degree slope. So keep that in mind as you're shopping if this is something you're considering. Uh, the different models cover different size areas and different slope angles. Now this is perfect for me because I'm right around more or less a half an acre um, here and I'm actually just keeping it in my backyard, but I am over a quarter acre in my backyard So have to go with the middle tier here and I don't really have any hills if anything I have like maybe a one or two degree slope going up to my back fence or going up to the fence that leads into my front yard So not really a whole lot of slope to deal with here So this is a perfect model for me now I do want to point out that this thing is pretty sporty looking it looks like an f1 race car and I think that's by design. In fact, they do even offer a sticker pack where you can actually sticker this thing up and make it look more like a race car, which is pretty cool. Now, fancy stickers are all well and good, but there's really only one sticker that matters around here. If you're watching this and you're interested in getting a robot lawnmower for your yard, Whatever you do, get a mower that doesn't require ground wire. Get something like this that is wire free and save yourself the hassle of having to bury that ground wire and having to deal with issues that come from ground wires breaking or separating or not working. It's one less thing to worry about and setup is a lot easier. Now one thing I'll point out, though setup is really simple as far as driving it around the perimeter of your yard, there's still a learning process that needs to happen. Not just the mower, but with what the mower can actually handle as far as obstacles go. Now it does have obstacle avoidance in place. It does have a sensor on the front and it has sensors on the sides. Um, and it also has sensors on top as well to detect certain things and obstacles and go around those things but it will still figure out ways to get stuck especially if you have a swing set and an in-ground trampoline so 
The lucky thing is, is that the app has ways to set up obstacles to just avoid altogether. They're called no-go zones. And I really want to emphasize, take your time setting up these no-go zones. Obviously, you're probably going to run into issues like I did. Um, I just let the thing go when I first got it just because I was so excited. And I didn't even think to set up no-go zones. I thought, oh, it'll be fine. It, the sensors, it'll bump into it and then it will go around, no big deal. It will find a way to get hung up on these things. Be very cautious about these no-go zones. If you think it might cause a problem, make sure you teach this to go around. It's very easy. All you need to do is drive to the area that you want to set up as a no-go zone, go into the app, tell it you want to set up a no-go zone and then drive around the perimeter of that obstacle and then it will give you a green check mark good to go it's saved and you're off and running and I guess it's off and running you're not doing anything it's doing all the work which is pretty cool so one of the big benefits of having a robot lawnmower mow your yard is you can mow the yard any day anytime you want however you want to do it and the Luba experience is wonderful because I have it set up to mow every day, so I always have a freshly mowed lawn. It just looks clean all the time. And you can set it up in the app on your schedule so that every day when it mows, it mows in a different direction every single day. And that's awesome because if you keep the mower mowing in the same direction every time, then you're gonna start having um, permanent patterns or ruts in the lawn or things like that. It's gonna turn around in the same areas and um, start wearing the grass down in those spots and we don't wanna have that. So I have programmed this to mow every day and every day that it mows, it's mowing in a different direction around the yard, which is really cool. The, the customization options on this are just great. So um, I really like this, I think it's awesome. I've been extremely busy this year uh, with work and everything else going on with life and four kids and having the backyard at least covered as far as mowing. And it's mowing every day, which also, by the way, is really great for the lawn it's very healthy the more you mow your lawn the healthier it grows the thicker it gets the less weeds you have and we're recycling those really teeny tiny clippings back into the lawn to break down and all the nutrients that are available within those clippings are being recycled and used by the lawn so win 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 all across the board here one last thing that i want to share with you too that i think is pretty cool is that I have the Luba charging off of the power from my shed that I built uh, or had built and have been working on since last year. The shed gets all of its power from the sun through the solar panels on the roof and it stores all of that power in two batteries inside and the Luba is plugged in to an outlet that gets all of its power from those batteries. So using solar power to charge the Luba and mow my backyard, which is kind of cool. Also, can't forget, it's quiet. Listen. So there you go, there's some thoughts on the Luba All-Wheel Drive 3000 Robot Lawnmower from Memotion. I think this thing is really cool once you get it figured out and dialed in. It is a little bit of a learning process, not just for you as the uh, owner of it, but for the lawnmower as well. It's a relationship that you kind of have to just take your time with getting it set up. It took me a little bit, took me a couple of weeks to really dial this thing in and figure out where it can go and where it can't and what it was getting hung up on, um, but that's okay. Once uh, I got through all of that and um, got all of the kinks worked out with um, you know where it's where it's able to go Now I don't have to worry about it. I, it's set it and forget it and I come outside every day And I have a fresh mowed lawn, which is ideal. It saves me a lot of time and um, I wouldn't I've never been able to mow every day. So um, having that fresh mowed look is just totally worth it. So um if you're interested in this, I will leave links down in the description for all the things that you need to know. You can find them down there. I think it's a great 
uh, step forward for the robot lawnmower community. Um, it has a lot of great features to it and it's really, really uh, convenient and I think beneficial in multiple ways. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for this one. Again, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.